After eliminating the man who took his wife's life, an American citizen is sent to a prison in Russia and must fight every day to survive. Today we will recap the story of the movie, In Hell, from 2003. Kyle and Gray are an American couple who are spending a few months in Russia for Kyle's work. Gray complains that her husband is always working and never has time for her, but the man asks his wife to be patient as they will soon return to their home in Louisiana. In the middle of the night, the woman receives a call from Kyle and finds out that her husband is already coming home. Over the phone, she apologizes for the way she spoke to him that day and suddenly the lights go out. Gray manages to reconnect the power and Kyle calls her again. Just then, a man breaks into her home and attacks the woman. Hearing his wife's screams over the phone, Kyle becomes desperate and speeds off in his car, never minding having an accident on the way. He hears his wife struggling to defend herself and quickly calls the police. During a clash with Kovic, the woman ends up having her neck punctured and cannot survive. Within minutes, Kyle shows up and, upon entering the house, finds his wife already lifeless on the couch. At this time, the criminal who broke into the house approaches him from behind and attacks him. Kovic then flees and Kyle goes after him. The man gets on a train, where he spots the bloody criminal and the two start a fight. During the struggle, the two men jump out of the vehicle and Kyle manages to catch the criminal, until the moment he is thrown into the middle of the street and a motorcycle runs over his body. Just then, the police show up and Kyle sees his worst enemy flee as he is handcuffed. Days later, Kovic is brought to court and the judge clears him of all charges. Kyle's lawyer explains that this happened because the accused's family has a lot of money and bought the judge. Before leaving, Kovic taunts the American, who decides to take justice into his own hands. Kyle steals the gun of one of the policemen on duty and unloads it on the criminal's body. After passing the trial, Kyle is sent to Kravavi prison along with several other Russian criminals. When they arrive at the penitentiary, the prisoners are positioned in single file and are soon taught a lesson. Right in front of them is a man who tried to escape from the prison and was captured. The general then states that they can try to escape, but they need to be prepared to suffer the consequences. The newcomers take out all their belongings and the police officers quickly sort out what they are going to steal. Talik orders Kyle to hand over his wedding ring, but the man refuses to do so. The policeman then attacks him and then steals the ring. Now, the only thing Kyle owns is a small photo of his wife. After stripping off all their personal belongings, the prisoners have their heads shaved and take a shower. They are then taken to a collective cell and shown to their new quarters. Before going to sleep, Kyle looks at the photo of his wife and his mind is invaded by beautiful memories, something totally different from his reality. In the middle of the night, Billy Cooper is dragged out of his cell and locked in another room with Andre, where he experiences the most violence he has ever suffered in his life. The next morning, the inmates are taken to the yard and Kyle spots young Billy completely injured. He then sees Andre making fun of the situation and remembers Kovic's attitude after being cleared by the court. At that moment, the American is seized by a great fury and attacks the man. The duel only comes to an end when Talik decides to interfere and Kyle is taken to solitary confinement. When he gets there, he sees the sewage flowing through the floor and realizes that this will be his home for the next few days. Faced with that intense stench, the man is unable to feed himself and his food is devoured by ants. With each passing day, his hopes of returning home dwindle and eventually he chooses to end his own life. However, when he tries to accomplish his goal with scraps of his uniform, the fabric snaps and he is unable to complete his plan. Still, Kyle doesn't give up and bangs his head against the stone wall, but despite losing a lot of blood, he stays alive. Suddenly, a moth invades the premises and, upon seeing the insect, his mind is taken back to the day a moth entered his house. When he remembers Gray, the man regains his strength and decides to keep fighting. He realizes that there is another prisoner incarcerated in the next cell and is terrified to hear the man's screams. In an attempt to calm him down, Kyle punches the wall a few times, as if to tell the stranger that he is not alone. After several days without food, the American is totally weakened and can barely stand. However, when the moth lands on his plate, he decides to feed himself and fight for his life. Upon his release from solitary confinement, Kyle is taken to a new cell and Talik advises him to be careful as inmate 451 has eliminated his last three cellmates. That night, neither inmate says a single word and the inmate acts as if Kyle doesn't exist, which makes the American even more suspicious. After a long day at work, the inmates take a short break for lunch and Kyle lies down on the grass for a few minutes to rest. Soon after, one of the soldiers wakes him up to return to work and his group only returns to the penitentiary at the end of the day. Arriving there, he receives a visit from his brother-in-law, who goes to the prison to give news about Gray's funeral. The woman's body has now returned to Louisiana and can finally rest in peace. The next morning, the prisoners gather in the yard and Andre, 
who was playing basketball with his partners, throws the ball in Kyle's direction. However, he misses his target and ends up in trouble with another Russian gang. Before a bloody fight could break out, Talik shows up and puts an end to the argument. In the corner of the yard, Kyle goes to talk to Billy and asks why the young man was arrested. The man then explains that he was traveling and met a girl. One night, they were drinking and she crashed her car, causing the destruction of a restaurant. Despite not being behind the wheel, Billy was sentenced to serve 18 months in prison. Just then, Malachi appears and tells him that he saw Kyle's case in the newspaper. He then congratulates the man, saying that Kovic deserved to be eliminated. The American realizes that Malachi has been in prison for a long time and takes the opportunity to get some information. Kyle discovers that Andre belongs to the Russian mafia and bribes the guards to get whatever they want in that prison. That night, Kyle has nightmares about the day his wife was eliminated and starts screaming. Suddenly, inmate 451 uses his hands to choke him and he begins to thrash around in bed. When his cellmate was almost out of breath, the inmate releases him and Kyle stands up scared. Then, the prisoner orders him to be silent. At breakfast, the American is surprised by the arrival of Andre who, after spitting on his plate, threatens Billy. The man tries to react, but is stopped by Marco. Later, in the yard, a fight is scheduled to take place between Andre and another inmate. Both the prisoners and the general himself place bets on who they believe will be the winner. The duel begins and Andre soon knocks down his opponent. After a sequence of violent blows, the mobster gives his opponent a knee and makes him lose consciousness for a few seconds. By now, the fight is already won, but Andre continues to attack the guy without any mercy. The fight only ends when the general gives the order for Talik to stop the fight. The inmates are taken out for another day's work in the camp and Zarek, for no apparent reason, starts a fight with Kyle. The two men face each other while the guards just watch, doing absolutely nothing. Kyle tries to flee the fight, but Zarek's partners push him back. He is then knocked to the ground and the cowards unite to trample him. After a severe beating, the American is taken back to the penitentiary and ends up in solitary confinement once again. Whenever he's there, he bangs on the wall in an attempt to communicate with the guy in the next cell and hears the stranger howl in a frightening way. This time, Kyle stays in that place for several days and the only thing that comforts him are the sweet memories of the good times he lived next to Gray. When he is finally pulled out of that ditch, he spots a feast being brought to the prisoner in the next cell and wonders who that guy is. When he returns to the courtyard, his colleagues can hardly recognize him, as the man is bearded and completely apathetic. In the cafeteria, during lunch, Kyle receives another threat from Andre, but this time he decides to fight back. He then gets up and walks over to his enemy. Despite his fear, Kyle lands a punch on him and the two begin to fight. The American had the upper hand until Andre's partners join in to attack him. The fight comes to an end when the guards show up and Talik takes Kyle back to solitary confinement, which has already become his official cell. Alone in that dark hole, Kyle has a lot of free time and uses it to strengthen his body and mind. The remaining inmates are working in the field when one of the police cars causes a large explosion as it passes a mine. Billy then takes advantage of this distraction to flee and Marco accompanies him. The pair are caught and the guards start shooting, but only Marco is shot and ends up dying. The man continues to run and crosses a muddy lake in an attempt to go undetected. However, it is not long before the military manage to find him and Billy is captured. When he returns to the prison, the young man is put back in a cell with Andre and suffers terrible attacks. Upon leaving solitary confinement, Kyle continues to work on increasing his strength and fighting ability. His cellmate writes in his journal as he watches him train hard day and night. The policemen watch him in the courtyard and, noticing his evolution, Talik plans to send him for a fight. His first duel will be against Andre, his greatest enemy in that penitentiary. When the fight starts, the American is knocked down several times by his opponent and everyone believes he will be eliminated in battle. Kyle takes several blows to the head and is about to lose consciousness when Andre pulls his legs and drags him until he crashes into a pillar. The duel was already practically won, however, Kyle's fury makes him react and, with a kick, he manages to knock his opponent down. Then the American jumps on Andre's body and bites his neck with all his strength. The military gather to separate the two, but it's too late, as Andre loses too much blood and eventually perishes, causing the joy of many inmates. After that, Kyle never leaves the ring again and becomes one of the best fighters in the whole prison, which makes the military very happy because they make a lot of money from his bets. In his fight against Zarek, Kyle does not take a single blow and easily manages to defeat his opponent. After taking a headlock, the man gives up and Kyle gets up. However, Talik orders him to finish the fight and the American is forced to kick Zarek in the head to knock him out. Detainee 451 observes everything from afar and feels sorry for his cellmate, 
because he has submitted to play the dirty game that prevails in that place. That night, Kyle rethinks his actions and decides he will no longer fight. After cutting his hair and shaving his beard, he heads to his cell, and the next morning Paul visits him again. The man claims that he is doing everything to get his brother-in-law out of jail. However, Kyle says he doesn't want to get his hopes up anymore and asks Paul to forget about him. Billy can no longer stand living in that terrible place and plans another escape attempt. He enlists Malachi's help to get a key and says goodbye to Kyle before leaving. Then, as the inmates watch a live music show, Valia appears and introduces herself as Kyle's new adversary. During the night, Billy takes advantage of the fact that the military is all partying to celebrate Russian Independence Day to put his plan into action. However, when he reaches for the pliers he intends to use to cut the bars, a group of guards appear and manage to capture him. All this because Malachi betrayed the man and told Talik about his attempt to escape. As a reward, he received a few boxes of medicine and inmate 451 found out about the betrayal. That night, Billy receives a visit from Valia in his cell and once again suffers the most terrible violence. The next morning, when the inmates come out of their cells, Kyle finds Billy badly injured on the floor. The man has fought to defend himself from Valia and before leaving asks his friend not to allow that place to turn him into something he is not. Finally, the day comes for Kyle and Valia to face each other. However, instead of attacking his opponent, the American ducks and decides not to move. Even when he is brutally attacked, he does not move, which makes Valia even more furious. Talik then approaches the prisoner and orders him to fight, otherwise he will suffer severe consequences. However, Kyle states that he will no longer participate in that dirty game. So the man is taken out of the ring and, at night, has his arms handcuffed to a metal pillar. Talik states that he can only get out of there when he decides to fight. Although weak and hungry, Kyle refuses to go back on his word and remains standing for several days under the scorching sun. Malachi does not know about the intentions of inmate 451 and gets him a bottle of alcohol in exchange for money. What the traitor did not imagine is that that liquid would be used to eliminate him. The prisoner then claims he is avenging Billy and asks how the man was able to betray his friend. Malachi then explains that he had to do this in order to survive, because only then would the police officers deliver him the medicine he needs. However, this excuse is not enough to sensitize the detainee and he sets fire to the mean traitor without any hesitation. While looking at the burning body, the man remembers why he ended up in that place. When he was still young, he was the victim of violence by his teacher and set fire to his room to defend himself. Since then, he has been imprisoned and has taken it upon himself to bring justice to that place. As time passes, everyone believes that Kyle is doomed to lose his life, for no matter the suffering he is subjected to, the man remains steadfast in his decision. His choice not to fight his colleagues inspires other prisoners, who also decide not to take part in any more duels. As they are unable to punish everyone, the military loses its power and the fighting comes to an end. Just as he was about to perish of starvation, Kyle is visited by the spirit of his wife, who gives him a little more strength to keep living. The general intends to use the American to teach the other inmates a lesson and takes him to the infirmary. After treating his injuries, Kyle is taken back to solitary confinement and communicates again with the man on the other side of the wall. When he returns to his cell, he is surprised by the arrival of Milik. The man looks like a giant zombie who is desperately searching for his prey. As soon as the monster is released, it runs after Kyle and knocks him down the stairs. As the American is thrown all over the place, his cellmate prays to him not be eliminated and the military watch the attack with a smile on their faces. As he tries to run away, Kyle ends up being caught by the neck and, just as he was about to lose his breath, he starts banging on a metal door next to him. Immediately, Milik releases him and Kyle discovers that this is the guy he was communicating with the entire time he was locked up in solitary. The giant then approaches his friend and Talik orders them to fight again. As the policeman points a gun at the pair, the prisoners rebel and begin to stage a protest for an end to the fighting. When Talik goes to shoot the American, Milik jumps on top of him and helps him fight the guards. Before he hits the ground, the man destroys the door of one of the cells and a riot breaks out. In his final minutes, Milik holds his friend's hand and Kyle stays by his side until his last breath. Then he goes to his cell to free his companion. That night, all the inmates manage to break free and get into a fierce fight with the police. As the two groups fight each other, Kyle and inmate 451 walk away from the war zone and the bald man reveals that he knows a way out of that place. The pair then return to their cell and the detainee removes a set of papers that were hidden inside the wall. The man says that he has recorded all the eliminations and violence that have happened in that place in the last 20 years and hands the documents to Kyle. Finally, the bald man says that for his plan to work, it is necessary for his partner to take part in one last fight. That night, 
one guard and seven prisoners were eliminated and those who survived were totally locked up for two weeks. When they are released from their cells, Kyle gets a fight against Valia and, regardless of the outcome, the general orders Talik to get rid of him, so as not to risk the American causing more trouble. In that last fight, Kyle gives his best, because he knows he needs to survive to get out of that place. When he realizes that he is losing the duel, Valia takes a blade that was hidden in his shoe and goes after his opponent. However, Kyle manages to dodge the attack and another prisoner ends up being injured. After getting rid of the weapon, the American finishes the fight by hitting his opponent's head on a wooden rod. After the fight, the American is handcuffed and taken to a vehicle. However, when they get there, the officers are attacked by inmate 451 and Kyle has the chance to shoot Talik in the head. However, he decides to let him live and orders the man to open his handcuffs. He then takes his wedding ring back and drops a vehicle on the legs of the man, who ends up fainting in pain. After that, Kyle puts on a police uniform and his partner hands him the keys to one of the vehicles. The detainee claims to have a mission to fulfill in that place and decides not to leave. He then hands the documents to his friend and asks him to pass on the reports to the authorities. While Kyle tries to get through the gates undetected, the prisoner goes to the general's office to settle accounts with him. After leaving that hellish place, Kyle fulfills the promise he made to his friend and, three months after his departure, Kravavi prison is closed. Will Kyle finally make it back to his country or will the Russians still find a way to arrest him again? So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.